She is a proud South Asian mother raising her kids in the Bay Area, and she faced the challenge of finding kids' clothing that balanced both her cultural heritage and modern comfort. That inspired her to create Arica's Closet, an online boutique dedicated to curating South Asian-inspired children's wear for families just like hers. Here to share more is founder of Arika's Closet, Kamini Patel. Kamini, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Yes, <laughs> tell us about the inspiration behind Arika's Closet. Um, so I grew up in Southern California. I was born and raised down there. Didn't have so much access to comfortable, not itchy or scratchy ethnic wear growing up. And then when I had my own two girls, they were experiencing the same thing. And I felt like that was something that needed to be addressed. Why are they uncomfortable? They were always upset and kind of didn't want to attend the events because of the outfits that they had to wear. And our culture has lots of events, lots of festivities. And to keep them connected to it, I thought it would be great to have comfortable clothes for all the kids. This is such a good idea and you're feeling such a need. It seems like that you felt and surely other moms and parents have felt as well. So you make clothes for a bunch of different ages of children. Yes. How do you find the right material that they like to look at and that feels comfortable for them? It's all about making sure it's soft um, on the insides because a lot of the clothing, like the more formal clothing has layers and the inside layer needs to be a soft cotton or if you're looking at some of the infant wear needs to be more of a soft cotton, organic cotton. Mm -hmm. And I work with multiple designers so, so it's curated across you know 10 to 12 different designers so I come up with a collection that kind of fits the entire gamut of newborn to teens. Wow. So yeah. incredible because I know that um, so many other people were feeling the exact same way so it's great that you brought this need that the community wanted. Um, how would you say that you blend traditional designs with you know your modern designs? How do you find that balance? I think it's just part of growing up here. I feel like I have that kind of like, I like to wear Western clothes as well as um, Indian clothes and finding that kind of combination of what that would be. I think the kids like certain silhouettes better than others, um, but primarily the comfort is the most important part. I can take anything traditional and put really good comfort under it and I think the kids will enjoy it. And if they enjoy it, the parents are happy. When the parents are happy, everything kind of goes well. So I want I, the goal is to bring really nice outfits that parents are happy to put their kids in and the kids are happy to wear. And then they connect to whatever event they're going to. With Diwali coming up, it's kind of one of the biggest you know, festivals that we celebrate. And with wedding season and all the different seasons that we go through. Um, but I also have like more casual wear that has that South Asian inspiration as well. Awesome. So tell us about that age range. I mean, you make from, is it newborns? Newborns okay. um, to 15 or so. And at, at 14 to 15, it just depends on the the size of the kid. Mm -hmm. um, most of everything we do is standard sized. So um, yeah, so it's like the newborns, I think is one of the newest, not very many people can get to that, but the teens are my best sellers actually, okay. the preteens and teens. Wow, and boys and girls were seeing these videos looking yes. so cute, yep. yeah. that's awesome. What is one thing that you've been the most proud of since designing your line and getting these out to, to the world and to other families? Um, probably just following through and doing it. Um, and also like having my kids be a part of the whole experience. Um, they've been here since the f five years that we've started and I've got to see them grow through it. Um, and they seem super excited. <laughs> to see everything that yeah. you know we put together and we're gonna see them in just a second because yes. they'll be modeling some of these yeah. beautiful clothings yes um, yeah but before we get to that you know what has been the response that you've seen from the community um, and embracing your designs um, I would say parents really really enjoy and love it I do have many repeat customers um, and it's not something that you're gonna buy all the time it is definitely a occasional purchase but they do come back and once they try us they always want to come back and try it out and wish that we had bigger sizes for even like the 16 18 year age range but we haven't just gotten there yet so maybe in the future yeah. All right, wonderful. <laughs> You've done something so cool, and we cannot wait to see the finished products. Today we have your beautiful daughters yes. here with us, and they yeah. are going to be our models. Uh, so, yeah, let's take it away with looking at the designs. Thank you so, so much. And while we look at them, let's have you kind of describe to us sure. the outfits that they're wearing. All yeah, right, here we good. go. So Rhea's wearing a purple palazzo suit. Um, it has a cotton lining on the inside. It's got floral, large floral print, and the top has a tie back. So if it does 
you know, standard sizing sometimes doesn't always fit everyone. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely kind of make it smaller if you want. Um, and it's a pant, so it's super comfortable. The kids really enjoy wearing it and they just feel like, sometimes they're like, can we just sleep in this? Because <laughs> it's, it's so comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and how old is Rhea? She's 15. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, I love a palazzo pant. Yeah. Is there anything more fun it's than so a palazzo fun. pant? Yeah, yeah, it's really it nice. It looks like a skirt, but it's yeah. actually pants, which yeah. is perfect. All yeah. right, let's talk about our next outfit now. Uh, Rohi's wearing a pink bandani, like a traditional print, um, linga, which is a skirt and top. And it's got a traditional print with sequins and a contrasting scarf, which is called a dupatta. And it also has the same lining, but this one has the fabric on top, a can-can, like a mini can-can to give it that ball gown look, and then another cotton layer underneath for that um, as well. So what kind of an event would you wear this outfit to? Um, Diwali would be okay. one, a wedding um, could be another, any sort of um, close family event would be a good time to wear it. I think I've also seen um, people take the top by itself and pair it with a pair of jeans mm -hmm. and kind of make it, you know, yeah. a semi-formal type of thing where it's kind of mixed and match into Western. Yeah, I don't know if our camera is truly picking it up, but the detail on the fabrics, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, um, you know, sparkle and shine and it just looks like it's very expensive fabric. Yeah. Um, but the most important, important part that you said is that it's comfortable for yes. the kids. That's so right. yes. that is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, these are so pretty, <laughs> so shiny and sparkly and beautiful and also so comfortable, which yeah. that's what really matters thank you so so much for thank sharing you your designs thanks your for story. having me yes. <laughs> where can great. people find designs just really quickly before where can i'm on the website mm -hmm. arikascloset.com and then i'm also on instagram and facebook so you can find me there and i'm running the business so i'd be happy to answer any questions okay thank you so much <laughs> thank you comedy